Okie religions and ancient weapons. Welcome to Hokey Religion, the Star Wars podcast. This is Tyler. This is Michael. And let's talk about Star Wars. Hokey Religion is an ancient weapon. We're no match for a good blaster at your side. All right, so okay. as of the last episode, mm-hmm. um, well, let's just go right into our new favorite segment, Do-do-do-do. Ewok Islands. Ewok Islands. <laughs> The segment where we fix things that weren't necessarily broken, but we wanted to fix anyways. That's a um, long. That's a long subtitle. Maybe we should. No, we should shorten that a little bit. <laughs> Man, <laughs> we'll, we'll, we'll Ewok eyelids that later. Um, um, so I did mention in the last episode. I could not remember the title of the Journey to the Force Awakens book about Leia. It's called Moving Targets. Um, that's where that character that we mentioned last episode, the PZ Four uh, CO. Yeah. Uh, PZ is the nickname. That uh, droid is mentioned in that book, and the book is Moving Targets. It's moving tar- supposed to be pretty Moving good. Target. Sorry, moving. we're already we're already getting it no, wrong. No, Moving Targets. It's right there, right there. Moving Targets. I'm seeing Moving Target. It's, well, it's on Amazon right here. Dang it. Okay, Moving Target. That's it. Done. Wait, okay. Is this um, a, is this an episode of Ewok Eyelids Inside Ewok Eyelids? <laughs> it's Ewok Eyelids Inception. Wow. Um, and then the other thing that we wasn't necessarily broken, uh, but we're going to fix it anyway. So we forgot to mention when we were listening to the audio clips of the Kylo doll, we talked about a quote he said, uh, the Finn doll, toy, action figure, whatever. The audio, we listened to that. We didn't mention the quote that we were interested in, which was, I never should have saved you. That was pretty interesting. Yeah, I mean, maybe he's talking to Ray when they're fleeing the market or something, but a theory I have which I think it's it's out there as well, is that Poe is caught by Kylo and is on whatever his Star Destroyer is um, and is being tortured maybe for information about the Resistance. By the way, I should mention that Star Destroyer is officially the, the one that was shown in the teaser. The black one? The like, Super Star Destroyer that we, sh- we saw in the teaser? Mm, it wasn't black. The one where the, the ships were flying up to it, right? The it one was, where Kylo's shuttle was flying Yeah, it was flying it. up to it. It yeah. wasn't black. Wasn't it? No. Oh, maybe not. Um, but it's called the Finalizer. The Finalizer. Yeah. Nice. It's such a cool name. That's pretty badass. It's a freaking cool name. Um, so, uh, the theory is out there, and people have talked about it, I think, before, but that Poe is actually captured by Kylo Ren and is being tortured for information about the Resistance on that ship. And, of course, we see in various teasers we've gotten so far a TIE fighter going crazy in one of the uh, hangars, shooting up a bunch of stuff. We assumed that's when Finn maybe stole that TIE fighter to leave. Right. But maybe he's saving Poe from this. Maybe. Uh, something Star I, Destroyer and something taking, I learned him, about, taking him away. Something I learned about those TIE fighters. So the one we saw shooting up yes, that hangar Yes, the black bay, and red ones. Yes, is a yes. special ops one. And... Apparently, the special ops one are two seaters. They they look the same size, right? But it's it's in it's confirmed in the yeah, description they're, they're of the tie seaters. fighter that they're two seaters. Yeah. So, so the regular ones are just black with the white, the white wings. Yeah. Um, but the the ones with the red mark on it are special ops. Right. Uh, which we actually have we've seen action figures as well of special ops troopers that are right. black with like the red. Uh, um, mark on their arm. Right. They're like the elite troopers. Yeah. Which I'm guessing maybe. Um, Captain Phasma is maybe like the head of the special spec yeah. ops. I'm thinking. Phasma, I according to the Star Wars databank, Phasma is the um, uh, what do you call it? Like the 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 head of the military, basically. The captain of like the first order troops. Right. Okay. I think she is on the same level or very close to General Hux, who okay. um, he's more the. He's kind of a, a trainer. Tactical. Maybe he's more like the tactical, like Tarkin, yeah. like the kind of like the Tarkin figure of very smart, very like over, over of like more governmental type stuff. Something more like that. More overarching of that, like the ships and all of that. Yeah. And very tactical. Yeah. And she's more like the, over the actual military itself. Sure. It's, actual it's something fighters. like that. Yeah. But he, um. Almost like, she's almost like the Vader to the Tarkin. When Vader was kind of looked, was kind of like lower in, um. The Emperor's Eyes. Yeah. Kind of like in the Tarkin book, if anyone's read that. 
Vader isn't really as high up on the chain of command as we saw him in the movies. He kind of had to work to that position. Um, especially right. we've seen in the comics too, in the Vader comic, where a very strategic like plant that makes a lot of the uh, Empire's ships and stuff was destroyed by the rebels. And Vader's like knocked down a notch even lower. Um, and he's like put under someone else's command. So it's almost like almost like when Vader was in that level. Not under Tarkin anymore? I think it was before... No, yeah, it was after the first Death Star was destroyed. So that... And in the Tar- Tarkin book, that's when the Death Star was first being built. Yeah. Um, but he actually got knocked down a notch. Oh, so after Tarkin's the, dead. Yeah, at guess, that point, yeah. Okay. He got knocked down and was below someone else. But like in the Tarkin book, it was almost like Tarkin and Vader were on the same level as far as yep. the Emperor kind of wanted to see where what they would do. Well, Vader was always side by side. the Emperor's favorite kind of, you know, special yeah. right-hand man. But he was never treated like he was a favorite. Like, he was never... Not in the, like, military organization. Yeah. He was never a high-ranking official in yeah. that. I everyone, mean, pretty everyone, much anyone would listen to anything he said because it's obviously Vader. Because they had to. You kind of have to. Yeah. Um, but but yeah, he, everyone he in the military, you kind of get the feeling in the book Tarkin that they all kind of hate him. Because he's yeah. just, he's just so he's kind of a dick, oppressive and yeah. and impulsive and yeah, like he he he's just yeah. he's not a very good military. But uh, yeah, but guy. as far as Phasma and Hux, it's almost like with the Tarkin and Vader, how they were both really high up. Not neither was like over the other really. Sure, but yeah. one was more the tactical like governmental side. One was the yeah, go down and fight side. Right, which kind of seems like the Hux and Phasma thing. Yeah. Um. So yeah, so that's uh, so I guess Phasma I guess is over all the troops, which would include the special ops, right? Um, yeah. Okay, so that's been... and we got to that from a quote from Finn, where we think I never should have saved you. Maybe he's talking about Poe, and he saves Poe from Kylo when he escapes, which begs the different question. Like, okay, so when he ca- crashes on Jakku with a tie, he seems to be by himself. Yeah. But maybe Poe and him both took a tie, and Poe went to wherever he was going, and Finn left. I guess that wraps up our Ewok eyelids segment. Yep. Um, right. Well, I guess uh, going back to that real quick. Not that segment, but the the, the talking thought. about talking about Poe. Yeah. What we know about Poe so far is that he has been sent on a special mission, quote yep. unquote, by Princess Leia. Yep. Um, to retrieve something important. Assuming to be the lightsaber? Right. We're assuming that's Luke's lightsaber. Yeah. The one we see being handed over uh, to somebody in the tra- in the teaser. Right. So, And also the one we assume Finn is holding. So, like, trying to reconcile those two theories, if, if Poe is captured, does mm-hmm. he have the lightsaber at that point? Are they torturing him for information about the lightsaber? They're probably trying to find out what, where he's going or what he's doing. I would well, why would I guess? And, I mean, I, assume, I assume Kylo himself is looking for that too. Being the Vader fan, that lightsaber is was yes. Anakin slash Vader's. Yeah, and I want to talk about that in a few minutes. Um, so I assume maybe he's been looking for it too because he seems to be a collector of Vader items, having the helmet. Yes. Um, maybe his actual lightsaber was built from Vader's, we're, which we can get into in a minute as well. We're assuming that um, he has the helmet. Well, yeah, we I assume mean, we that was him. him. We assume that was him holding it. It could have been Snoke, but. We, well, we know we, Kylo's we a super fanboy. We see it in the teaser, just kind of sitting on a pedestal. Well, someone was holding it, weren't they? Uh, there's some concept art that was leaked a long time ago, showing a hooded figure holding Vader's helmet. I thought in that teaser... It looks nothing like Kylo. It looks... Yeah, but I thought in the teaser someone was actually holding it. No, it's on a pedestal. No, okay. no there's no one holding it. Well, we know he's a fanboy, so I would assume he would be the one to have these artifacts. Right. <clears throat> yeah, I'm assuming that that's him, but yeah. we don't know. Yeah. Yeah. Um, but yeah. So so does Poe have the lightsaber at that point? Are they torturing him for in- information I doubt he would about have it at it? that point? Because they wouldn't need to keep him alive if that's what they were looking for. Unless right. they're are, just looking for whoever. You are know, are they do, resistance people are right? Do they even know who they have at that point? Yeah. Do they know I, that I he's know. the Black Squadron leader? Right. I would assume that we so. Find if out he's been, you know, later. I mean, this is all assuming that he has been captured and, and yeah, it's all assuming. Rescued. But I mean. I it could makes... be just, it could be just, you know, uh, 
Finn trying to shoot his way out of yeah, of be. the finalizer. It could be. Who knows? I mean, but yeah, I never should have saved you. It's an it's an interesting quote. Yeah. You know what? Unless I I don't the way he says it is very strongly worded. Yeah. I don't know if that's necessarily directed would be directed towards Ray just for them getting shot up shot up in a you know market. Yeah. It, it seems a lot more important than that. The inflection in the clip and what he's actually saying kind of implies that it's a really strong Yeah. Like something something went down. Yeah. Something's going on. I don't know. It's interesting. Yeah. Um so I guess getting going back to Kylo, mm-hmm. we kind of wanted to talk about the first order, the first order origins mm-hmm. and stuff. Where, what is it? What's it from? How is it? How is how is how Kylo is related to the first yeah. order? All of that stuff. Which I mean, we got some stuff officially from J.J. Abrams as far as he said Kylo Ren is not a Sith. Um, you know, he said that he is a a knight of you know from the Knights of Ren, whatever those are. So Ren is just a, a moniker from being a knight. So being a knight of Ren, right? Um, whether Ren, wherever Ren came from, if that's a Sith. Um, yeah, we don't know anything about. No, we don't know what the Knights of Ren are. Right, but the we know him specifically. He is not, Kylo Ren is not a Sith. Uh, he works under Supreme Leader Snoke. JJ said, and he said Supreme Leader Snoke is a powerful figure on the dark side of the Force. He didn't say whether he was Sith or not, but hmm. he said Snoke was a powerful figure on the dark side of the Force. Okay. So we don't know if if Snoke was a knight a Knight of Ren. Um, he's just a powerful figure on the dark side of the force which if we're led to you know what is canon is there are there the rule of two there is a master and an apprentice right which was sidious and vader where did this other strong you know person that was a powerful figure on the dark side of the force where is he what huh you know (laughs) where, where did he come from if there's only two and those two are destroyed that you know confirmed destroyed where is this other guy coming from i guess we haven't really i mean there are some there are some weird canon issues with the rule of two like you had you had dooku with with sidious you know dooku was under sidious but he also had darth maul well, Dooku also had, if we're taking the Clone Wars into And that account, is canon. That is considered canon, the Clone Wars uh, cartoon series. Yeah, if Dooku also had, um, what's her name? Um, Ventress, Asajj Ventress. Ventress. Yeah. And then after her, he had, which wasn't really an apprentice, but he had the... Savage. He had Savage, Savage which was... Savage one of the dumbest Yeah, which names. was yeah, really <laughs> dumb, but he was Darth Maul's brother. Yeah. Oh, well, yes, brother. They're from the same you know, tribe or whatever. Right. He had his little apprentice... Yeah, so, I mean, especially with, I mean, going to, like, episode one, episode two, Dooku existed already in episode one, yeah. but so did Darth Maul, but they were both under, directly under Sidious. Dooku, was Dooku an apprentice of Sidious at that but point? But if he's not, that's a rule of two. You can't have two masters. No, I'm just saying, was Dooku kind of just on his own, and then Sidious brought him in later? Like like around the I don't think so. Attack of the Clones era. I thought he was already the apprentice. I don't know. I'm so trying to what remember was, what was Darth Maul because I know there's some there's been discussion of this before, but like the rule of two gets really fuzzy in that section of okay, there's Maul, but there's also Dooku, but there's also Sidious. Yeah. And then we have the canon stuff from the cartoons of well, then Dooku had stuff too going on right. with Asajj. Um. I guess so, like, we, it gets really fuzzy with the rule of two there, but we are still assuming the can you know the canonity of the rule of two being that Darth Vader and uh, the Emperor were destroyed. Where did Supreme Leader Snoke come from? If there's only supposed to be two, right? And I guess we haven't really. Um, people who have been talking about the movie have kind of been dancing around: Is he a Sith or not? Snoke. Yeah. Yeah, I mean, all we know is he he's could a be connected. Figure, powerful figure on the dark side of the Force. He he specifically right. said that Kylo is not a Sith. Didn't say specifically that Snoke is not a Sith. But, I mean, I guess my point is the Sith is um, an order that's not necessarily exclusive. Or the dark side of the Force isn't exclusive to Sith. Yeah. Sith is kind of its own order that's existed for hundreds and hundreds of years. I guess so. Maybe thousands, something like that. But yeah. so you could have Snoke. I mean, obviously you've got 
um, Kylo connected to the dark side of the Force and not a Sith. So Snoke could yeah. be in the same boat where, you know, he's just uh, connected to the dark side of the Force. Maybe, maybe he's, he's a Knight of Ren. He's a Knight of Ren as well. Maybe. Maybe it's you know, Snoke Ren. We talked briefly a couple episodes about uh, episodes ago about maybe Snoke. Well, have we talked about this yet? About what Snoke might be. Snoke may be Darth Plagueis. Yes, that's. I, I was going to bring that up. I really. I mean, it, as crazy as it is, and we've talked a lot about our different theories of it's like kind of maybe a stretch. Kylo and Rey being siblings, or you know who's related to who. And there's a lot of stuff going on. I doubt all of this can happen in one movie, but right. And we may not find out for, you know, two more episodes, but well, so as quick, far as we know, Darth Plagueis was studying how to beat death. Yeah, let's go over who Darth Plagueis is real quick. Darth Plagueis was Sidious's master. Yes. Uh, he's mentioned in episode two? Three. Three. Um, and then there's he's been mentioned in books, so Plagueis is canon. Yeah. Um, and Sidious, um, at the time, he was just Chancellor Palpatine. Yeah. Um, I guess. Or... Senator Palpatine. He was Chancellor at that point. point yeah. Yeah, episode three. He was telling Anakin how his master was trying to, Plagueis was trying to, or I guess a well, master. No, actually, he, he was telling Anakin about a story. It was just a, a story general story of, of a, a master of. I can't remember if he said that it was, side of the Force. I can't was, remember if he, he was trying to beat, he was trying to figure out a way to beat death. That's right. Like, he didn't he say anything close. about it. He didn't him being say, a Sith. Or yeah. connected to because the dark Because he was side. just trying to get Anakin over. He would never like, use the dark and all that. And, you know, right. Just like this different use of the Force type right. thing. Yeah. But he mentioned he was trying to find a way to beat death and that he may have found it type thing. Right. Um, and we, I guess we found out uh, what Sidious was the one who, or um, Plagueis, didn't he order the clones? Um, or he, he was working with the guy who was on the Jedi who ordered the clones and all that. He was a lot more involved than we thought he was. I can't um, remember about that. Plagueis was a little more involved. He wasn't. He wasn't the Jedi who placed the order for the clones. That was um, Sifo-Dyas. I Jedi think Master Plagueis Sifo-Dyas. was working was working with Sifo-Dyas, I believe, if I remember correctly. Uh, it's been a while since I looked at the Plagueis stuff. We can find that out if you just but, keep talking. But um, Plagueis was trying to find a way to beat death, a way to basically live and the you know have the Force keep him alive, or maybe. Uh, come back from the dead or maybe um he could take over somebody else's body he could come back as a force ghost but also end up being you know i guess you would have at that point you would well i guess there's two there's two possibilities here it's it's actually darth plagueis who has somehow just not died figured out yeah yeah, accomplished what he's been going Mm -hmm. after this whole time or it's this other guy through the force he has basically taken over somebody else well uh, well I, I guess maybe that's a third possibility so the other another possibility is that um snoke has just found teachings from darth plagueis maybe or maybe darth plagueis like came back as a, i mean as we a know there's ghost. force ghosts so maybe plagueis came back as a ghost to and train this train this dude. Snoke or give him information or maybe he just as a force ghost basically took over somebody something and yeah. that is his the embodiment of Plagueis or my own personal theory which I like is that it's a reincarnated Emperor Palpatine <laughs> <laughs> that would be really weird <laughs> well um, he, in the in the EU he episode he does one that. Emperor or episode two and three Emperor or not sorry episode four mm-hmm. Emperor or episode five and six Emperor Oh. In episode one, we had the uh, like pig lips, like weird makeup of the emperor, and then in episode five and six, we had the actual actor oh, playing yeah. the emperor. Yeah. yeah, is it that weird like rumpled skin looking one? He was never in four, was he? He was in he was in five. Was it five where he was the rumple, the the rumple skin one, and then yeah. six was when we actually had an actor. It was five before the special edition. Okay, yeah, they didn't have the actor yet, so it was just that. They just guy. had that really crappy makeup. It was just like the folds of skin and it's like his eyes were like <laughs> drooping down and it was really scary looking looked like a melting wax figure yeah he did hope but yeah then hopefully that's not what Snoke then lucas like. went back and he walked guy lives when it. anakin got added to six at the yeah. end of six that that was when he went back yeah. and added um, lots of other stuff that we didn't care about yeah he had a lot of things at that point we don't have to mention all of those right yeah but um yeah i like the idea that maybe plagueis survived somehow and has either taught somebody or taken over somebody which because Plagueis is supposed to be this super powerful figure of the dark side yeah 
if if he's actually come back and is still involved, that would be really cool and even more menacing than just the Supreme Leader Snoke that maybe isn't so Force involved or so Sith involved, but it actually is like Sith, Dark Lord, Plagueis. Mm, yeah, that would be pretty pretty cool. But again, that'd be a lot to have to pull in with all the other storylines we have going on. Yeah, that yeah, that's true. Um, but for people who are kind of familiar with Darth Plagueis and yeah. and can make that connection, you know, back to episode yeah. three, that would be really cool. That would be really to cool. To bring back, kind of connect all these movies. To connect you know? everything back together, yeah. Yeah. Um, Which is something, I guess, that we haven't really seen yet, like a connection to the old, other than the actual mm. characters. Yeah. Like story elements. We haven't really seen any. Yeah, as far as, I mean, other than Kylo's obsession with Vader. Right. But even that hasn't really been. That's a loose connection. He's just like he, super in, you know super right. into what I mean, Vader was. Vader was a huge figure. A ton of people knew about yeah, yeah. him. So, um, but yeah, even yeah, even that. that cool. I mean, even the ties of the First Order itself as a group. We don't know where they where they came from. Um, I guess well, to wrap this up, going back to <clears throat> Sifo-Dyas, uh Apparently, Sifo-Dyas yeah. had a. Um, I mean, you know, he kind of disagreed with the Jedi Council. Yeah, he was... Him and the Council weren't on great terms. Yeah. Um, Plagueis apparently suggested... Yes. ...the, um, the, the possibility idea to, of the of the army. Yeah, to create the clone army. Yeah. Just kind of planted it. Well, yeah, he planted it, which, I mean, that's uh, kind of the same thing that um, Palpatine does. You know, right. Plants these little things, right. these ideas that grow into this... Yeah dark there was a much more sinister plan beneath it all right at the time the clones having the order 66 chip in their head and all that yes so at the time plagueis was uh like you know masquerading as somebody else yeah and he was just he was just somebody in the senate and he suggested this idea and it kind of it was a plan with plagueis and palpatine much more much you know longer before right we knew it was a plan right it wasn't like Sifo Dyas did this on his own. It was it was a plan way further back and way more detailed and yeah. very sinisterly yeah. planned out than we thought it was. Right. So um, um, so that'd be cool to see like Plagueis almost coming back to finish the job. Still like him coming back in. If that I mean like he started this way back. He supposedly died when when Palpatine and and then Palpatine rose to power <clears throat> and kind of accomplished what they yeah. were asking or seeking. Yeah. And then died, and the Empire kind of died with him. I think him. there's been the idea, too, like when Vader died, there was like this almost like force blast through the the force in the universe. Like this force I would understand explosion. If when the Emperor died, that that was happened. That, I mean, we saw that giant blast. Yeah. They, they died pretty close together. Yeah. Um, so maybe there was just such disruption in the force that Plagueis could have used that to like come back if he was like a force ghost or something. Yeah, maybe. There's like this such strong blast of the force throughout the universe that Plagueis could use that. But there would definitely be a ripple. Yeah, but almost the idea of him coming back to finish the job he started way way back, and now he's you know there's his first order. He's like kind of you know, <laughs> coming. It's almost back. been like a plan the whole time to do this. Kind of coming back like God, I gotta do everything myself. Because <laughs> even because even Palpatine had plans to kill Plagueis. Palpatine wanted to be the number one. Well, yeah, he, he had was, plans he to assassinate. Tra- he was trying to assassinate Plagueis at one point, which is kind of the Sith tradition anyway. Yeah, you, that apprentices kill yeah. their masters. I mean, Dooku so, talked about it with Ventress at yeah. some point in the Clone Wars. Yeah, when he was or Savage, maybe one of them. Yeah, one of those two. Uh, he was training them and and basically yeah. saying in enough words, you know, I'm. I, I'm yeah. saving certain power for myself to defend myself. I don't want to teach you, you everything because I need that to defend against you, type right. thing. Yeah. Like he knows it's going to happen. Yeah, you know? but you know, Sidious always wanted to take out Plagueis, so you know, Plagueis, you know, eventually supposedly died. Right. Maybe he's used this force blast of his his what it was his apprentice dying. He used that to come back to like finish the job that he could never do. You know, yeah. that he was not powerful enough. That Sidious was not powerful enough to do. Right. But yeah, being the First Order, whether that's Plagueis or not, we really don't know where they're coming from other than they almost look... I guess we've they've, it's been mentioned a little bit as far as... It's not necessarily... It's somewhat remnants of the Empire, but at the same time, it's almost like its own new thing that saw what the Empire did and yeah. are trying to do it better or do it in a different way. Definitely, like an definitely looks like a Nazi way. Like I mean, an it Imperial looks like... Fan club, yeah. Kind of. I mean, even 
even the empire itself like there was no there was no choice you were you were part of the empire or you were dead well yeah i mean that they took over and they were in charge and you did what they said and you had to yeah but even like the first order seems to be more i don't know like it 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 does look very nazi-esque it looks more like almost cultish yeah, very, very like a cult, because we saw that like big tower. We saw like the hooded leaders standing up on the platform. We yeah. saw like the armies like looking up towards them. Um, but like yeah, what what more, is their what is their goal? More of a more of a kind of group effort than just kind of the emperor imposing his will down yeah. on the people. You know, yeah, it's it's almost like they don't. I mean, again, we haven't seen much about them, but the way they seem f- like formed, the way they seem together almost doesn't seem like that empire of we want to take over and be the government like well i don't know i i but just the way they they do still want to do that maybe but the way they seem it it almost again it's almost like that i don't know like the the empire was was a government they did have very much the government officials and the ranks and moths and all that but i don't know the first order to me looks more like we don't really want anything. Like, I don't know what their goal is, but they just seem like that group of, like, we don't like something that's happening, and we want to do away with it, but we don't necessarily want to be the ones in charge. They're really powerful for a group like that. Yeah, but, like... <laughs> I mean, what, they've got a huge military. What is, their, what is their goal? So, I mean, we know that the re- rebellion... They're not, re- they're not rebelling against anything anymore. They're called the Resistance now. I don't know what they're resisting anymore. The resistance almost sounds like a like a guerrilla group, though, right? You know, it does. So, like less powerful. So than I'm the guessing, rebellion okay, the rebellion happened. Ways. They destroyed the the empire, and we're yeah. gonna get some books and stuff. The new comic series, Shattered Empire, is gonna be four issues. One issue is coming out soon, and then there's three in October, and that's gonna kind of show right after what happens with the shattering of the empire itself, I guess. Yeah. So after that happens, I'm guessing the quote unquote rebellion. I guess they're back in the gov. They're back to being the government, like the Jedi Order was before. I don't know. And then there's this resistance, which we're, they're called the resistance. We assume Leia is like a general in the resistance or something like that. Yeah. Um. So obviously the first, obviously the first order is quite large. So they've probably been around for a little while. So I'm guessing they're resisting them doing whatever they're doing. Wait, so you're saying there are three <clears throat> players in this? I'm, I'm, I'm assuming so. I'm assuming the resistance isn't the government. But why, why would you have a resistance? So you're saying the republic kind of comes. Maybe back. there's a republic or some. There has to be some governing body, right? I don't, I don't think. I don't think because the Senate. We, we I mean, all I that was torn apart. So what is yeah, it? Just world? It, just a world by world basis? Right, with the empire running it. I mean, the the uh, Tarkin says in A New yeah. Hope. The Senate was abolished. Yeah, each world has its own kind of governor now. A month, but, uh, and, and, but under the empire, right, so the empire imperial. falls apart. What happens to the government? So there's no government. So I'm assuming so the, each world just has a mayor. I mean, like, has a president. <laughs> what? I don't understand how that works. I mean, no, I'm assuming so there's the, got to be some kind of government function. I'm assuming the New Republic takes right? over, or the, the alliance okay, well, takes that. So if if Leia is associated to the resistance, yes, I'm assuming that's three, the same thing. I don't know. I think Leia would maybe try to go par- back. Maybe a part of it, but there's a resistance group that is like, job is dealing with the First Order. I think, I bet the... Because it's weird, because what we've seen, well, we've seen like Poe with his Black Squadron uh, X-Wings. It's like they... It's, it's like the same rebel insignia. Yeah, it's like they're, they're, it's like they're a smaller army separate from what a government army would be. Almost. I think maybe what's happened is a new republic was attempted and maybe failed. Like Mothma, maybe like Mon Mothma and stuff. People like that were tried to be like we're in right, charge so, for a while. So if you think about everything the Alliance had, I mean, they had yeah. their own government. They had a military. Uh, yeah, there was a pretty big force. Yeah, in I the mean, new books, I mean, you're seeing there's they they had a, yeah. a pretty large force. But where does the you know the quote resistance what, fall into that? Where, where, yeah, what happens to that? And I'm guessing because of how small the resistance seems, I'm guessing something failed. Something happened. Maybe this first order that was much larger than they assumed came in and broke maybe. some stuff apart. And now they're trying to resist the first order's giant maybe, army. Yeah, maybe the resistance. Maybe it's back to this medium-sized small army against this medium to large-sized army maybe 
It just seems very chaotic, even more chaotic now than it did before. I mean, again, we still haven't even seen Leia in anything, right? But I think a at least an image we, that was leaked of like a costume test. Yeah, she looked she looked kind of like that rebellion type, like dressed down general, not not in like royal garbs at all. Right. She wasn't. Or, she didn't or seem like to be a official, princess Leia or official like, political garbs. Or anything yeah, it was like very that, much yeah. like a gorilla general like yeah. just yeah like a like vest you know like yeah not very fancy looking and we haven't really seen anything else from the resistance other than a few random the black squadron poe i mean no they all still have that rebellion they still have like the rebel like you said the insignia yeah. kind of those flight suits right. they have newer x-wings um yeah nothing about their leaders or anything like that. no i, I mean other than I, th- I think leia's a general as so far as maybe at, at this point it seems very small it does it seems like there's this much more fractioned like it's very fractioned segments of you've got the first order you've got this resistance yeah. is there a government at this point right what are they resisting because obviously the rebellion, they were re- rebelling against the empire who yeah. was in control of the universe, basically. Actually, so this reminds me of a theory I read today. Um, the it was just this one line, um, unofficial line, I think in like Wikipedia or something, the Star Wars unofficial yeah. wiki, about how um, you know the resistance is a faction of the rebel alliance and they're resisting both the first order and and the jedi okay which is interesting huh why would that be the case (laughs) well well, first off what jedi well yeah i guess i mean unless luke has his school for the gifted like then he which i don't think (laughs) he's had 30 i mean he's had 30 years um but again, that whole thing we've discussed many times, you know, his confidence level of yeah. he wasn't really trained all that much. It just all seems so... Everything we've seen from him, you know, in other in other stuff, he just, there's not much confidence there because he wasn't trained very much. Even in the EU, there was that whole storyline of him not being very confident in his force usage and yeah. knowledge and his lack of training. So, I mean, it could... I don't see him having us, you know, 30 years later, maybe he's had time to have a school of Jedi and there are some you know people in their 20s that are jedi but at the same time and i think we've i don't discussed think so this. i mean uh, well maybe you're about to say this but but yeah. kylo one of kylo's quotes from that toy was talking about the last jedi yeah so, the last jedi which is probably luke so we assume right. we assume luke's the only jedi but there are no still more even 30 right years later it seems like he's not done anything unless it be had a failed teaching of kylo ren right that i like the idea maybe. of uh, yeah, I maybe think... he tried to teach his friend's son, Kylo, Han and Leia's son, Kylo, which I want to happen. Uh, maybe he tried to teach him. He went dark, and Luke was like, nope, screw it. I'm not going to mess up anything else. I've already heard us enough. Maybe. Um, I mean, you know, the friggin' title of the movie... The something, Force Awakens. Something significant. It's almost like there's. The force. Yeah, the, I mean, the, the title of The Force Awakens and the, the, you know, the dialogue we heard from the first teaser is, you know, something has awakened. Yeah. Which I think would be maybe the force usage in Finn, but that could lead back to Plagueis too. Plagueis well, yeah. could have awakened. True, um, well, but I mean, Snoke is the one in the trailer. Snoke's saying already that he yeah, senses that is something. Snoke. He felt something awaken, which I like to think is Finn's force sensitivity awoke in Finn. And Finn's either had a like I've, I mentioned this before. Finn maybe Finn had a vision or something, and that's why he leaves. Maybe um, something that significant the awakening in the force. is in Finn. Um, yeah, it has happened. So I think so. so I assume at this point there's no other force sensitive people other right, than no, Luke and maybe right. Kylo and. I don't think you know, anything significant nope. in the force has happened between Jedi and yeah. and Force Awakens. Maybe point. that blast from you know the Emperor was almost like this force blast of just I don't know a consuming force that like there's, there's like yeah. nothing left. Um, yeah, I guess that's I two competing things, saying that yeah. Snoke is Plagueis, and then saying that Something has awakened. nothing has happened. In the yeah, meantime. I mean, there's... I mean, I maybe know. Plagueis could have come back, but even then, I think the, the Force Awakens, I think, obviously, just from seeing characters and seeing what the movie looks like, as far as Finn having a lightsaber, I think the Force Awakens in a new Force user being Finn. Yeah. Um, so I don't think Luke's done much in the meantime, other than maybe he tried to teach Kylo... Um, Kylo went dark, but even then, Kylo is a Knight of Ren, whatever that is, 
uh, maybe right. that's where he trained originally. So maybe Luke has literally done nothing because he's not been confident the whole time to do anything or to try anything or hasn't run into anyone that actually felt the force maybe. to teach them. Or just something happened. But again, it's been 30 years. Like, what is he? What, it's have, a long what time. have they done with the time? That, yeah. And that's what we have to find out in between. I mean, Aftermath, just... Aftermath was the first book that came out, and it it's. I don't think it goes into too much detail on the main characters. I think it's focused around Wedge and some other characters. Okay. Um, but they're, that's supposed to be a trilogy of books. Is it really? Yeah. Um, I don't think the other two are coming out anytime soon. Okay. So we're gonna, I mean, we're obviously going to have to get some of that in between time. And I don't think all of that in between time is going to be described in the movie. Okay. We'll probably get some from, obviously we'll have to find out what's going on with Luke. They can't just ignore Luke, but that whole 30 years of, was there a government? Was there, what, why is there this resistance now? What happened with the rebellion? We're going to have to slowly get that. And I don't think we're going to get a ton of that from the movie, maybe a little bit enough to explain where they are right now. I don't think we're going to get a whole history lesson of it, though. Probably not. Like, not. Here we are. This is what's happening. Something happened. There's this resistance now. Well, I don't know. It's It all seems so... <laughs> it seems bro- so, f- for, so fractured. Just yeah, broken these, and chaotic. It I, seems small again, like the rebellion. And I don't, I, there's there's got to be some... There's something's mo- happened, but we... There's I don't gotta think we're going to find out. We're not going to find out before the movie. Well, I think that would just be a bad story if we didn't find something out had to have happened about that you know, I mean, we've got all this established information yeah there's this before. giant group of the rebellion um right. what's happened with them to have now a resistance and a first order that's risen right in 30 years there's just so much new stuff that we have to find out yeah more so about just, it they're gonna have to fit so much into that movie if they don't start releasing stuff outside of the movie <laughs> well i don't know and i, I mean, don't think we're getting i think all you that get many ex- more books before i mean i don't think we're getting any more books before the movie we're getting some comics but the, well, even the comics can explain. I mean, I guess maybe the Shattered Empire comics series may show some of what happens. Obviously, it's going to show what happens when the Empire itself shatters, but maybe yeah. it'll show some of what happens with the Rebellion replacing maybe. the Empire. Maybe. I don't I don't think they could rely on that extra stuff, though, to I- explain key story Not elements. key stuff, but stuff that we want to know as right. far as in 30 years, saying, what's going on with the government. Right. And I think I've, they'll maybe explain some in the movie, but we're not going to get... I don't think we'll get detailed into how that fracturing happened right i'm saying the main explanation yeah could be it could be quick and i'm pretty sure it's going to happen in this i mean it has to happen yeah we have to get an explanation of why there's a resistance now right and where the first order came from obviously right um let's see uh something we had talked about and we've mentioned lightsabers a couple times so especially with luke not having trained anyone obviously luke has a lost lightsaber that we see is found in the trailer we're assuming Luke still has his lightsaber that we saw him with last. Yeah. Kylo Ren has a lightsaber, but he's not a Sith. But as far as we know in the canon, only Jedi's or I guess Sith Force users Force users can make a lightsaber. As far yeah. as getting that crystal, yeah, to make the lightsaber. Well, something else. So I was talking about Heir to the Jedi, which I'm currently reading, still reading, mm-hmm. um, uh, right now, but there's a brief part of that in the beginning of the book or in the first quarter of it Mm. talking about luke luke finds without i guess well i guess we shouldn't be worried about spoilers should we no so luke finds a and this is canon in the past you know past canon that is new to us right yeah this is the rewriting of our previous canon yeah um luke is given a lightsaber from a dead jedi master a dead Rodian Jedi okay. Master. Interesting. As kind of a, we don't really know what to do with this. We saw that you have a lightsaber, so <laughs> so here's this thing that we think it's you'll like. Jedi goodwill. Yeah. And, you know, Luke, at this point, Luke doesn't really know much about the Force. He doesn't know he much hasn't... about the history of the Jedi, because Obi-Wan hasn't told yeah. him anything. Um, so he basically figures out on his own that the only way you can open this lightsaber is using the force and we've seen even in like uh rebels i think um you saw in clone, War, think, in clone, in wars. clone wars you saw it um they had a couple episodes but about, in, in rebels you saw uh in the new comic cartoon series you saw um ezra make his own lightsaber with like the gun have you seen that oh have you yeah, watched rebels no. at all no. ezra makes a um a lightsaber and it actually has like a gun handle Oh, okay. Um, and it can actually shoot like lasers out the front of it. I thought that it's very was very kid kitty, but I thought that was what's his name. He makes the um, Kanan. No, no, no. I, no. Uh, yeah, what's Kanan's his name? Kanan's the older guy. Ezra's the kid with like the purplish hair, blue hair. 
No, Kanan's the, the Jedi. older. The yeah. older Jedi. Yeah. yeah. And what's his name? Ezra. Ezra is the younger one. Okay. Ezra makes a lightsaber. I thought I thought the one with the gun was Kanan's. Ezra saber. gets a crystal from a Jedi palace and makes a lightsaber. And you oh. see him doing it with the Force, having to hold his hands up, and everything's floating, and he pieces it together and while it's floating. Which is the exact same way that it's done in Clone, in Clone Wars. Wars. So yeah. you have to build it with the Force, basically. Everything's floating, you piece it right. together, and then... The pieces are so tiny, and, and the book kind of explains... So detailed, yeah. The, the alignment of the kyber crystals mm-hmm. can only be done using the Force. Yeah. So, so yeah, so obviously Kylo... I mean, we see him kind of use that force push in the trailer. Yeah, he has some force usage, but if but he he's has not a, Sith, it, right? Well, as far as we know. Well, JJ said he's not Sith. Oh, okay, right. Yeah, so he's a force user, obviously because of that, and because yeah. So he, he could have made his own lightsaber. It looks like he didn't do the greatest job because it's all crackly. Yeah. Maybe that's just an effect he wanted to have, and or actually, I still like the idea of maybe that's maybe the crystal or parts of it are from Vader's saber yes and i agree with that because i I was looking at pictures of his saber and vader's saber parts of the hilt and stuff the hilt that Mm -hmm. on his looks a little worn it's like a very very worn worn. version the metal is like the metal is almost like the black's rubbed off and it's more shiny yeah yes yeah and it's the the rubber you know inserts kind of look like vader's i'm thinking maybe he maybe he didn't use vader's actual saber maybe he used the crystal from it but maybe from I think he salvaged some parts from it. Now, what happened he, to Vader's he could have. saber? Exactly, that's what I was about to bring up. So Luke drags Vader off of the Death Star, and then he has a funeral pyre. Where was the lightsaber that whole time? Uh, I think it was because Luke was just beating on Vader at one point. And he cuts his hand off, and the saber falls with Did his it hand. Fall down where the Emperor went. I can't remember. So is it exploded just like his? Well, no, because the helmet he had the helmet on in the funeral pyre, so that's where the melted helmet came from. Okay, so the helmet was sav- salvaged. Salvaged, I guess, from Endor. Um, uh, yeah, I guess if the saber was on so the Death Star... So where was Star, this? If the saber was on the Death gone. Star, it would have... Well, not necessarily would have been gone, but definitely damaged it a lot. Maybe the crystal's yeah. kind of maybe cracked. Maybe that's the reason for the the um, cross guard on it. Maybe just because of something jacked up with the crystal, it has to have that cross guard. Maybe, yeah, maybe he didn't assemble it correctly. Or maybe the crystal is so jacked up that it's from Vader, because he's such a Vader fanboy, maybe he used parts from Vader's lightsaber or actual crystal from it because he can't find his own crystal, and the crystal is jacked up and it splays out, and that's why it has to have the cross guard thing to, like, deal with the cracked crystal. That could be a cool idea. Um, So we know he has some force usage so he can make a lightsaber. Another thing I saw... um, or I read, sorry, in yeah. Heir to the Jedi, is that there was just some details about how a lightsaber functions. Mm-hmm. Um, and the energy is held in by a force field. Yeah. So maybe just in assembling this lightsaber, maybe Not just didn't do that it. force field. Yeah, maybe did, did a crappy maybe. job. Which I guess we need new Ken at this point. Like, okay, so Luke lost his first lightsaber. Obviously, it's found in the new movie. Yeah. But his second lightsaber, obviously, he made that. Yeah. Obviously, he didn't have any help making it, right? Right. Well, I think so. Maybe how did I mean? If he's so naive to the force and is well, not confident out, in it, if he figures out in this book how it, I guess how so, one's that was put together, previous, that was previous to him losing his first lightsaber, or is it right after? But it was it was before Empire, so yeah, it was before he lost his. So okay. he still had his original. So he still had his original, his father's lightsaber, Anakin's yeah, Anakin's lightsaber, lightsaber the yeah. one that's found in Force Awakens. Right. So at some point, he has to figure out, I guess, how these are made, and I guess he makes his own which we're not really told how that happens yet. Maybe we'll have some book that goes back and yeah. tells some of that. But I think he, he at this point he's in tune with the Force enough, and yeah. he knows enough that he can figure it he out. He can figure out how to take it apart, yeah. Yeah. But yeah, so, I mean, Kylo has the Force, so he, well, we assume he has the Force because he does a Force push, it looks like, in the teaser. Yeah. So we assume he can make his, but whether he was able to go on that, basically that journey they have to find their crystal like yeah. the crystal basically finds you when you go in that right that temple which uh they showed they showed in the clone wars yeah um so i don't know if he had that journey so maybe he got the crystal from elsewhere which would have been vader's um it's an interesting I like that idea, idea and i like the same idea of okay so he made his saber from vader's and then finn has what used to be anakin's lightsaber so it's basically the the clash of anakin's light and dark side in the saber form it's pretty when cool. those are fighting it's yeah. a it's a cool idea and it's a little more yeah 
it's a it's a very Star Wars y symbol you know, the symbolism of those lightsabers fighting in the dark and the light of the same person. That would be pretty uh, that was a really sweet. cool idea. Um I, I mean, one of the notes I'd put down was how, you know, Kylo is so so obsessed about Vader. Yeah. And um I I think that's the main reason he's going after the main this reason lightsaber. he's involved with all this. The main reason he's going after the saber in the first place yeah. is he's, it's such a important part of Anakin's... An important relic yeah. to him. Yeah, exactly. Yeah, because, you know, they have they have that helmet, which I'm assuming Kylo has because he's such a fanboy. Yeah. Obviously, he made his mask and helmet. It very closely resembles Vader's. His voice modulation resembles, you know, Vader having right. the modulation, even though Kylo has no reason to have any modulation because he's not on life support. As far as we know. As far I don't as we know. know, I mean... I'm still not super confident on that picture of adam driver in the suit without the helmet i'll, I'll find it and show it to you whether it was it behind the scenes or no it was like an official like picture mm. with stormtroopers and stuff and he's not messed up or anything at all no huh. it's his white face black hair it's adam driver <laughs> um so i don't think he has a reason for that voice modulation really so other th- other than being such a vader fanboy and you know giving that power behind his voice um that more menacing power behind it um i don't know that's cool it's a cool idea i like the lightsaber stuff um it, i'm really interested because we haven't talked about it much before but i'm really interested in this fracturing of where's this first order coming from why is this resistance exist right when there's not you know the rebellion or the the new order um and why are they called the first order i'm I mean, it's like you said, it's very cultish. Yeah. It's like this, we're the first of this group, right. this yeah. cult group with this leader, this supreme leader, which again, very Nazi-esque. Right. Um, cult implying that it's small, but I guess from what we've seen so far, it's They not, have a lot of troops. It's so not crazy like, small. No. It's, it's obviously part big. of the shattered, the shattered empire. Obviously parts of them probably team, probably like, Hey, let's yeah. go this way. But and obviously the, the stormtrooper armor and they're still stormtroopers. Like they're not yeah. right. They're parts from the empire that is now under new, they're carrying, under new ownership. They're carrying on traditions of the empire basically, but they have different ideals. I think maybe, I, I don't know. We don't know that yet. Yeah. We don't know what their deal is, but yeah, very menacing. <sighs> and not and not so much the and it doesn't seem to be the power not the same kind of power show that the emperor had yeah the emperor was all about fear and might yeah uh like military might yeah and it doesn't really the i mean you have all the stormtroopers and you have all these you know these large amounts of troops and new tie fighters and stuff but it almost seems very cloak and dagger with snoke and the hooded people up on that platform maybe yeah like it seems like there's almost like this secret council like behind the new order um it doesn't seem to be that big like i'm the emperor right fear me type thing i mean we haven't seen we've seen one star destroyer basically at this point i mean i know there's more there has to be more yeah Yeah, there's one of those uh tie fighters yeah the ties we've got flame troopers no troopers storm troopers yeah phasma not not really a crazy and hux which is very very empire looking but again, now yeah. it's like that black outfit, which is way more Nazi looking, like right. that black and red Nazi outfit. Right. Um, I mean, the yeah. I guess if we were comparing the Nazis, the Nazis were, were all about fear and might. And yeah, they were. So I don't know. It's, yeah, I mean, they're I not mean, as Hitler, cultish as we're saying here. No, not as. I mean, they they seem to have that almost Nazi feel to them, but the emperor was definitely like the Hitler figure of like, fear me, I am yeah. the emperor, and I. Can destroy everything type thing but it does it seems snoke is very much hidden away almost at least from us so far i don't know we've I mean, seen. it could be completely different and we just don't know yeah we yeah. have no idea we're all everything we've said is speculation but i want to know we need that trailer we need people talking we need dialogue we need yeah. some hint of what's going to happen and they haven't give us given us anything we don't even have a poster yet we have the poster from d23 which is not the official movie poster it's just a poster. That is a poster from the artist who is making the poster and what who has it? made previous posters. Drew Sturzman, is that his name? Struzen. Struzen, yeah. Drew Struzen. Drew Struzen. Drew Struzen. He's, I mean, he's done the previous posters. And he did the poster for Hook. He did yeah, he's a done a lot of, of posters. Jones he's done a lot of stuff. Star Wars posters, too. Did the episode one? Yeah. Did Blade Runner? Um, wow. So we have the D23 poster, which is a poster, but not the poster for the movie. Okay. So stuff. even then, we still don't have a movie poster, and it's 
three months out yeah no trailer no poster we they've given us so little <laughs> the only dialogue we have is from two action figures that you know we didn't know we were getting until they showed up and then they, and yet it does feel like we have a lot already we have a lot of head cannon that people are coming up with at this point i mean obviously there's all kinds of a quote, lot of spoilers out there a lot of theories lot of out there and stuff we have a lot released. of characters but we don't know anything about them like i guess yeah like we know Gwen- Gwendolyn christie is playing phasma yeah as the person in that suit yeah are we ever going to see that it is Gwendolyn christie in that phasma suit or is it just going to be this phasma always with the hood on always mm. crazy stormtrooper yeah good point I don't um know. Could we just, I mean, for all we know, they just, you know, Gwendolyn Christie is an awesome actress. Uh, she's great in Game of Thrones. But for all we know, Phasma could come out, turn out to be like a droid. I mean, we don't, we know Gwendolyn Christie's playing her and maybe doing the voice, but I, I doubt you know, they would put... you have no, we have known nothing about Phasma other than she's yeah, the captain. Maybe. And we've not seen Phasma without a helmet on in any images. I doubt they would put in None of the action there. figures, does the helmet come off? Really? Yeah. Interesting. So we have we've not seen Phasma without the helmet. So other than Gwendolyn Christie playing Phasma and maybe having the Phasma having Gwendolyn Christie's voice, is you know are we ever going to see Phasma without a helmet on and it be Gwendolyn Christie? I would assume so, hmm. because she's an amazing actress. But yeah. at the same time, it's like we know there is a Phasma. We know nothing about Phasma. Like if Phasma is actually a woman, Gwendolyn Christie without a helmet on, or if it could, for all we know, be a droid. Right. And I'll, I'll show you that picture with uh, Kylo Ren without the mask on. It's um, not a droid. I know. Yeah, actually. it can't be. She's too good of an actress for them to have right. brought her on to not show her face. That's what I was going to say. But at the same time, like they've given us nothing other than, hey, this is Phasma. She's a, a, a lady is playing Phasma. Whether Phasma is a female name or not, a woman is playing Phasma. We haven't seen Phasma without a helmet on. All we've seen is the suit of armor. And even Hux. We know Hux is uh, general. Yeah, that's about it. Of how much i mean is he just that one ship i mean is he like is he the tarkin i mean we 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 have a name right at this point and the the star wars databank description for him is so very like vague. all of them are so vague which i mean is obviously super purposeful but right. i mean we know there's a kylo ren we know he's a knight of ren so ren is a moniker what are the knights of ren all we have is a name yeah General Hux, all we have is a name. Phasma, all we have is a name. First Order, all we have is a name. Right. Snoke, all we have is a name. Yeah. The Resistance. Uh, there's no details about anything, not even like why there's a, res- a Resistance. Right. Yeah, a trailer um, would be we've really still, helpful. We've still not point. seen Luke. We've still not seen Leia. Not not in the official... Not in any official release like information. Like footage from the movie. Which they've... <laughs> both of those characters have to be in a poster, right? Yeah. Like you've got to show those those main characters in a poster yeah. so we still don't have a poster which i'm assuming because we got that picture of luke that leaked online of him in the jedi robes obviously they pulled that super quick so obviously if he's in a poster they don't want to show that anytime soon because they pulled yeah. those leaked information the leaked pictures i guess that just means that luke is going to be a very important and i don't know yeah, key I mean, part of the story. Yeah, but even Leia, they haven't showed her anything. You know, I want that poster to at least see these characters. That they, okay, they are actually in this movie because we haven't seen them yet. <laughs> uh, like, if Luke's not in the poster, what are we to think at that point? Is yeah. he going to show up very much in the movie at all? He's. Who I mean, knows? they both have shot footage for the movie, so they're but in we, it. We definitely know that Harrison point. Ford has shot more than both of them. Yeah. Well, he's we done a he's, lot of a lot of action. He's scenes. very yeah. He's very in the movie. Yeah. Uh, very involved with Finn and Ray, it looks like. Right. As long along with Chewie. Um but yeah, just a poster I think at this point would be enough to tide me over for maybe if they want to wait a month for the trailer. Just a poster to show me, hey, remember these characters we said that were in the movie? They're definitely in the movie because we haven't shown you anything about them. This is what they look like. <laughs> um Yeah, it, it would be nice to at least have a poster. A trailer would be really nice. A trailer yeah. would be really nice for anyone out there with power that listens, please give us a trailer. <laughs> No one with powers listening. All of our three listeners out there. Hey, the first episode was downloaded 28 times, <laughs> and I don't have numbers on the second one. Um, thank you, everyone who's listened to yes, this. Yes, thank you so much. It's, this is a little it's podcast. Awesome. I mean, we're going to record these whether you listen or not, but we really like it that people are listening to us. Because... You know, we completely forgot last episode to talk anything about our Twitter account or... Yeah, we did. Anything else that That's we That's really true. Um, we can maybe pop an in slate on that one. <laughs> Um, so yeah, we do have a Twitter account. It's hokey under at hokey underscore religion on Twitter. Yep. 
Um, we have an email address if you would like to email us. It is hokeyreligionpod at gmail dot com. Yep. Um, places to reach us. Uh, we, we don't do Facebook. We don't do Facebook. Don't ask. We don't want to. You know, we don't. We're not going to post anything about gluten free stuff. So why use Facebook? Because that's the only reason Facebook exists. No gluten free stuff. No discussion this is about a gluten free, BPA free podcast. One hundred percent recyclable. Just click delete and it's recycled. <laughs> It's called a recycling bin for a reason. Um, so yeah, you can reach us that way. We both are po- posting stuff on the Twitter account. I try to repost news stuff I find. Um, I reposted stuff about the you know the voice quotes we had from the action figures. Um, so keep up with us there. Yep. Uh, so yeah, that's all we have for right now. We are going to both try and read the new novel Aftermath um, yeah, as soon as possible. as soon as we can. I just finished the book I was reading, which was you know nothing to do with Star Wars, but The Martian that oh. book the movie's coming out but the book is amazing um i was i still had yeah. like 25 percent of it to read and i started reading last night and didn't go to sleep until i finished it, it was, wow i just yeah, i couldn't put it down because it got so intense i heard it's really it's an amazing book and i hope the movie's just as good but now that i'm done i'm starting aftermath next um michael plans to start reading it as well and hopefully we can discuss anything new that we get from aftermath because it is a journey to the force awakens book it is post uh jedi yeah so hopefully there's some characters maybe some information we'll get maybe some stuff about why there's this resistance and what's I'm up with the government i'm kind of surprised there hasn't been a whole lot of spoilers from that yet you from would aftermath? think pe- yeah you think people have read people it by now. have i mean as much as i've heard people talking about it no one's saying giving con- too much details about it right like, people are still being very reserved about it it seems so like, i'm wondering there's almost like this respect to like go read it yourself <laughs> well i'm wondering if it's or there's just not that much info right as far as is the it, new stuff yeah is it people because i know it doesn't focus on the main characters i think it focuses on wedge and another new character that we don't know uh what we know now but i can't remember her name there's got to be something because um, we've from... got to get some stuff of like what's going on what happened with the rebellion post yeah. i mean because obviously wedge is involved in that even from heir to the jedi which i'm reading now there's stuff in there like that's it's good to know yeah stuff about where stuff. the alliance was between yeah. those two movies yeah so we both plan to read that hopefully we'll have you know we'll take some notes and anything maybe just some cool new characters or anything new we might see in there we'll yeah. try and bring up um, well let's say now that future. the next episode we'll talk about aftermath and what we've read yeah uh, we'll in, in we'll see how far we get into it um one of us will have read most of the book we can I make no much. guarantees <laughs> i i read but not uh, too fast all right well let's say that <laughs> one of us will have read at 50%. least the first chapter the, i'll read the first page and we'll be good okay. Um, I'll read the about the author section. <laughs> but yeah, we'll try to read that and then we'll uh, see what we have else to talk about. And I'm sure hopefully before the next episode, maybe we'll have a trailer, a poster, anything, please. Something. Um, if not, uh, this has been Hokey Religion. This is Tyler. This is Michael. See ya. Hokey Religion is an ancient weapon. Religions and ancient weapons are no match for a good blaster at your side.